Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a local admin account in Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. We can create a local admin account in a Windows device to be used as a break glass account in case anything ever happens where the user can't sign in. We need to create a custom device configuration profile and use account configuration service provider to create a user account. With account CSP, we can easily create a local user account and then add it to administrator's group using Microsoft Intune. We can specify the account name and password together in one URI and the account should be an administrator in second URI. There are many scenarios where you do not have local admin account present on the Intune managed device. If you are using Autopilot and you have configured the out of box experience profile to standard, there will be no local admin account present on that device. In that case, even local administrator account is disabled. If you want to create a local admin account on Windows device in search scenario, you can use this guide. Let's go to our Intune Manage Windows 10 device. This is our Intune Manage Windows 10 device. Right click on Start menu and select Computer Management. Click on Local Users and Groups. Click on Users. As we can see, we don't have local admin account on this Windows 10 PC. Even built-in administrator account is disabled. After applying the profile, again we will check the user accounts on this device. First, sign in to the Intune portal as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Intune portal using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile. On the Create Profile blade, under Platform, select Windows 10 and later. Select templates as a profile type for this configuration profile. Choose custom as a profile type. Click on create. Specify a descriptive name for the new profile. We have given name, taste, create local admin account on Windows device. Optionally, enter the description for this policy. After entering the description, click on Next to continue. On Configuration Settings page, click on Add button to add OMA URI settings. Specify the name, create local admin user account. Now add OMA URI. I am going to copy paste the URI value. This is the OMA URI which we have to use to create local admin user account. In this example, we want to create a new local admin account with the username MSF admin. So I have added MSF admin after users. Replace MSF admin with the username of your choice. The data type is string. As value, we need to provide the password of the local user account. Type password of your choice. Okay, I have added the value which is going to be the password for this user account. Check all the settings and then click on save to add first URI setting. Click on add again to add second URI settings to add local user account into administrators group. Specify the name add user account to admin group. Now again type OMA URI. 
So again, I'm going to copy paste that OMA URI setting. So this is the OMA URI setting, which we are going to use to add our local user account to administrators group. Again, replace MSF admin with the username of your user account. This time, data type is going to be integer. As value, we need to type two. Again, check all the settings before clicking on save. Click on save to add second URI setting. We have added two OMA URI settings, one for creating local user account and second to add user account to administrators group. Click next to continue. We will be on assignments page. To taste this device configuration profile, create an Azure AD device group which contain devices where this custom device configuration profile needs to be deployed. Under included groups, click on add groups and then from the list, choose the groups to target. For this example, we have created one taste device group named taste win client. From the list, select taste win client group. Click on select. We can confirm that we have one device in our taste device group. Click next. On applicability rules page, we can specify how to apply this profile within an assigned group. Intune will only apply the profile to devices that meet the combined criteria of these rules. We are not going to use it. Click next to continue. On the review plus create page, review the settings which we have configured for this profile. When ready, click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message profile created successfully. Click on refresh to see the updated profile list. This is the profile which we have just created. Our targeted groups will receive this custom profile settings when the devices next time check in with the Intune service. To see the result, let's go to our Windows 10 device. We are not going to wait for the policy to apply automatically. We will perform manual sync with Intune to speed up the process. Click on sync and wait for the sync process to finish. Remember, this Windows 10 device is a member of our test device group TasteWin client. Okay, last sync was completed successfully. To see the results quickly, I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. After the policy has been deployed successfully, we can go to the computer management and confirm if a local user account has been created and if it has also been added to the local administrators group. Right click on start menu and select computer management. Click on local users and groups. Then click on users. Find the local user account created by Intune custom device configuration profile, which is MSF admin in our case. As we can see, we have new local user account named MSF admin. Now let's check if this account is also added to administrators group to make it local admin. Double click on MSF admin account. Click on members of tab. We can confirm that the MSF admin is member of local administrators group. So our user MSF admin has admin level permission on this device. This means a custom device configuration profile to create a local admin account is applied successfully on this test device. It's a really bad idea to have an account on every device with the same name and password, especially if anyone knows what that password is. The account will be set with an expiring password. So if you ever tried to use it, 
the first thing it would do is ask you to change the password to something else. Same problem if you tell everyone what to set it to next. A new problem if everyone picks their own new password. You really should have a way to randomize and save the passwords kind of like local administrator's password solution. In next video, we will look into configuring local administrator password solution with Microsoft Intune. That's all for this video on how to create a local admin account on Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.